good morning dear students in today's class we'll see the next distribution that is exponential in the previous classes we have seen a binomial distribution poisson distribution now the next distribution is exponential so exponential distribution uh, as we have seen in the beginning of our uh, probability distribution the given distribution is divided in two parts one is a direct uh, discrete uh, random way, uh, distribution and uh, another is a continuous distribution so under a discrete distribution binomial distribution and uh, poisson distribution will come and under continuous distribution or in the under conti uh, continuous random variables exponential distribution and one more we have normal distribution will come under these two for our syllabus so today we'll see exponential distribution which will come under continuous continuous distribution means we'll get uh, integration for that means uh, continuous means it has uh, infinite number of uh, experiments from there we have to going to find the probabilities here the exponential distribution is given by the continuous probability distribution having the probability density function f of x given by f of x is equal to so this is a expression for our exponential distribution that is f of x is equal to alpha e raised to minus alpha x for here this x greater than 0 means positive and if any other if x is negative and all it will come under what here 0 or else if you remember this much f of x is equal to alpha into e raised to minus alpha x for x greater than 0 or x positive is also enough here is known as exponential distribution then as we know the condition of probability density function we have two conditions f of x should be greater than or equal to 0 which means positive and second condition integration from minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 so we have two conditions and this suppose this uh, two condition if satisfies we can conclude it is a probability density function now second condition i want to check whether it will holds good or no here see i have taken the left hand side integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to so as we know that we want when x is positive so we know that so on the number line 0 minus infinity plus infinity so we should not take this negative only we have to consider what here positive part so which because x is greater than 0 means what here positive terms so instead of minus infinity to plus infinity so this will be considered as 0 to infinity our f of x is what here alpha e raised to minus alpha x into dx you integrate we know that here alpha is a constant keep outside integration of e raised to minus alpha x dx so integrating e raised to minus alpha x with respect to x will get e raised to minus alpha x divided by differentiation of minus alpha x is what here minus alpha from 0 to infinity so this alpha and alpha get cancelled this minus sign here if you apply upper limit e raised to inf minus infinity or e raised to infinity is always 0 minus lower limit e raised to 0 is 1 so simplification 1 so we can say that our sec second condition is what here hold good for this exponential distribution so here major thing is we need to remember f of x is equal to uh, alpha into e raised to minus alpha for x is positive is very important so this is the expression for exponential distribution okay so with the help of this we'll see what are the what is the mean variance and standard deviation of exponential distribution and we'll see the examples based on this now mean variance and standard deviation of the exponential distribution so no proof directly result you will supposed to remember so mean is given by 1 upon alpha variance is given by 1 upon alpha square and standard deviation is nothing but 1 upon alpha so here you can see that mean and standard deviations are same or equal for 
exponential distribution so with the help of this concept and the expression for exponential distribution we'll see the examples now now the first example is if x is an exponential variate with mean 3 find p of x greater than 1 and second one p of x less than 3 no we know that the exponential variate is given by f of x is equal to alpha e raised to minus alpha where alpha lying between 0 to infinity okay so x greater than 0 means end point is out here infinity positive side and 0 otherwise now as per the given question the mean is given by mean means the mean stand for mu which is nothing but 1 upon alpha so it is given by how much here 3 is equal to 1 upon alpha so they have given the value of mean mean is nothing but notationally in the exponential distribution is 1 upon alpha which is defined uh, which is given in the question as 3 so 3 is equal to 1 upon alpha or alpha is equal to 1 by 3 so we got the alpha value now so if once we got the alpha value our given function f of x will be replace this alpha value as 1 by 3 which is nothing but f of x is equal to 1 by 3 times e raised to minus x upon 3 where x is lying between 0 and infinity so with the help of this we will go for the first result p of x greater than 1 and second result p of x uh, p of x greater than 1 and p of x less than 3 now the first one p of x greater than 1 so p of x greater than 1 means what here uh, it will start with 1 end with infinity so better we'll uh, rearrange this one as 1 minus p of x less than or equal to 1 which is nothing but 1 minus so less than or equal to 1 means it, it will start with 0 because positive value is what here it will start with a 0 end with 1 less than or equal to 1 here so therefore f of x and we know that f of x is nothing but what here 1 by 3 times e raised to minus x upon 3 into dx and simplify apply upper and lower limits and just see that we are going to get e raised to minus 1 by 3 you check this calc value in the calculator uh, you will find the answer as 0 0.7165 similarly second one p of x strictly less than 3 strictly less than 3 or less than or equal to 3 both we are going to consider as what here uh, this value here for the integral so therefore 0 to 3 x less than 3 means we are going to consider the range 0 to 3 only of f of x dx so therefore we know that uh, our f of x is 1 by 3 times e raised to minus x upon 3 dx so on simplification uh, of the upper and lower limit so we will get the answer as 0 0.6321 so in this way we are going to simplify the problems of exponential distribution next example is second question if x is an exponential variate with mean phi evaluate first one p of x greater than 0 but less than 1 p of x greater than minus infinity less than 10 p or next one p of x less than 0 or x greater than or equal to 1 so we'll see these results so we as we know that exponential distribution i have taken uh, only the first part because next one is 0 f of x is equal to alpha into e raised to minus alpha x where alpha is lying between 0 to infinity which is nothing but positive as we know that they have given mean is nothing but phi in the exponential distribution mean is given by 1 upon alpha is equal to phi which is nothing but alpha is what here 1 upon phi so you can make arrangement so here this is nothing but uh, f of x is equal to what here alpha is 
1 upon 5 e raised to minus x upon 5. You can use this directly or else you can substitute in the question also. No problem. Now, the first result we need to find here as x p of x greater than 0 less than 1. So, therefore, range is what here? 0 to 1. 0 to 1. f of x dx. So, this is a given function f of x. alpha into e raised to minus alpha x into dx. So here you replace the value of alpha and uh, here also. So 1 upon 5 integration of e raised to minus x upon 5 is what here e raised to minus x upon 5 upon minus 1 upon 5 this 5 5 cancel minus sign left apply upper limit lower limit. So simplification will get the answer 0 0.1813. Okay. Next second question p of x greater than minus infinity but less than what here 10 so which is nothing but minus infinity to 10 from f of x 0 but here this limit is having what here uh, negative to positive but we want this supposed to be purely positive means you just observe here so according to this limit i am writing so minus infinity to 10 and somewhere we have 0 here. So we have to neglect this part because minus infinity to 0. So this part is what here x is less than 0 and this part is x is greater than 0. So according to this uh, condition for uh, exponential so x should be positive. So x should be positive means we have to consider the limit 0 to 10 and minus infinity to 0 this is going to be considered as what here 0. So we will see that as minus infinity to 0 will uh, break the limit minus infinity to 0 and 0 to 10 and f of x dx f of x dx but this part is what here going to become 0 and this will be we are going to simplify so on simplification so applying upper limit uh, so integration of e raised to minus x upon 5 is nothing but e raised to uh, minus x upon 5 upon minus 1 upon 5 simplify this one so we will get the result 0 0.8647 so similarly so next is p of x less than or equal to 0 or x greater than or equal to 0 so because of this or we have to write plus sign so p of x less than 0 and p of x greater than or equal to 0 uh, less than 0 means this is negative result so uh, if x is negative we have 0 according to the exponential distribution only we have to consider positive so x greater than or equal to 1 so which is nothing but 1 to infinity or you can write 1 minus p of x less strictly less than 1 also you will get the same answer any one you can use it so simplify uh, upper, upper lower and lower limit and remember uh, while applying applying here upper limit e raised to infinity is always 0 and lower limit and this phi and phi cancels minus sign left so simplification and result is what here 0 0.8185 next question is in a certain town the duration of shower is exponentially distributed with mean 5 minutes what is the probability that a shower will last for 10 minutes or more less than 10 minutes between 10 and 12 minutes so they have given uh, one of the word example so the exponential distribution is given by f of x is equal to alpha e raised to minus alpha x where alpha is lying between 0 to infinity which is positive so as per the question they have said mean is 5 minute means 1 upon alpha is equal to 5 or alpha is equal to 1 upon 5 so substitute in f of x so we will get uh, 1 upon 5 e raised to minus x upon 5 so first question 10 minutes or more so it is nothing but what here p of x 10 or greater than 10 means x greater than or equal to 10 so which is nothing but 10 to infinity which is nothing but replace the value of f of x simplify upper and lower limit so we will get the answer as what here e raised to on simplification this is 5 so 5 2 is 10 minus 2 e, so minus minus plus e raised to minus 2 e raised to minus 2 is nothing but 0 0.1353 so this is the first result second is what 
और दे हैव सेड लेस देन टेन मिनिट्स लेस देन टेन मिनिट्स मीन्स पी ऑफ एक्स स्ट्रिक्टली लेस देन टेन तो देर फॉर जीरो टू टेन एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स विच इज नथिंग बट जीरो टू टेन द वैल्यू वन अपॉन फाइव ई रेस टू माइनस एक्स अपॉन फाइव इंटीग्रेट सो ऑन इंटीग्रेशन एंड सिंप्लीफिकेशन विल गेट वन माइनस ई रेस टू माइनस टू एंड रिजल्ट इज जीरो पॉइंट एट सिक्स फोर सेवन सिमिलरली लास्ट वन सो पी ऑफ एक्स बिटवीन टेन एंड ट्वेल्व दे हैव सेट टेन एंड ट्वेल्व मिनिट्स सो टेन टू ट्वेल्व एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स So f of x is one upon phi e raised to minus x upon phi. So simplify. So the result will be on simplification zero point zero four four six. So in this way, a uh, few examples based on this uh, exponential I have taken. So we need to work out in the similar way. So remember here that uh, mean is nothing but what here one upon alpha. So using that value only we can get the result of. Uh, alpha value and we can substitute in the function f of x to get the respective probability results thank you